Good morning, social media. Get out of that. Dot, dot, dot. Look at her, looking good, man. She just dropped five puppies three days ago. That's how your dog should be looking, man. After dropping puppies, your dog should still be looking healthy. Look at that. Look at that, man. Good animal husband tree, man. You gotta take care of them animals. The dog shouldn't be all fucked up after having puppies. Now, it's happened to us. For some reason, every time Butter have puppies, they hit her hard, man, but, you know, they, they be at my kennel point in time. Got me spinning my head, man. You got to spin your head right now. Be careful. Oh, oh, this video saying happy easter happy easter to everybody i hope you enjoy your holiday you know me and my family we're gonna get together and celebrate we're not really celebrating the holiday we're celebrating family you know i uh -huh. Most, i celebrate all holidays but i don't celebrate them as the hol like let's say christmas for example I never looked at my whole entire life, even as a kid. I never looked at Christmas religiously. Christmas was just a, a family day to me. It was a day for family to come together and enjoy each other. And that's pretty much how I see all the holidays other than like my birthday. I know my birthday is about me being born. Celebrate my life. Let me give y'all a real quick, short Easter story. So, uh, a few days before Easter. How you doing, bro? What's up, huh? A few days, uh, come on. A few days before Easter, we were standing in my front yard. Hey. And, and uh, we were talking to some young cats from around the corner. We had a beef going on. And I don't blame them because I knew they had a beef going on. You know, I could have not had them in my front yard. Come on. But anyway, they rivals came through. Did some shooting, killed my mom's fiance. And he's actually more than my mom's fiance. He's my cousin's father on my other side, on my dad's side. One of my cousins on my dad's side, one of my favorite cousins on my dad's side. That's his dad. You know, I, and I tell that story another day. But, uh, so yeah, some cats came through and they killed Big P. So this is just maybe two or three days before Father's Day five at the most but i think it was more like two or three days i mean not father's day but uh easter sunday i can't remember was it easter sunday or father's day i'm gonna have to look at the date i know what day we got here but uh anyway i think it was easter sunday so we out there we celebrate me on the block we call it the block it's a, a block that my family owns four houses between the two corners you know what i mean so we out there deep we out there we celebrating we kicking it kids everywhere so I'm out in the street and I'm standing by my man and he like watch out DK watch out DK and he pull out a gun he like get everybody you know move everybody in the yard I'm like well he like man I just seen some funny shit so what he seen was it was four cats coming down the street two of them split off boom and he just peeped it so I rushed ushered everybody up into the yard we all up in the yard two little itty bitty, no, I take that back, one little itty bitty dude, and another dude who was a little bigger, maybe about my size, I'm 5'11", I ain't big, but I just ain't super little either, so anywho, uh, the little itty bitty dude got his hands tucked up in his, in his sleeves, he got on a little jacket, like a light little jacket, and he got his hands tucked up in his sleeve, when he pushed his hands out, he had a big gigantic ass gun in his hand, <laughs> this dude had a thumper, he had a chunky for real, that motherfucker was fat as hell. I don't know what it was. It was like a faux five. I mean, not a faux five, but like a faux faux, something like that. Maybe a big ass 38, but I think it was a faux faux. So anyway, boom. So he got the faux faux. The other dude ups, ups his thing. 
He got a like a Glock or something. It's an automatic. My man's got a four four two. He normally an automatic guy, but this day he got a four four. So he's standing in the middle of the street. They want his little brother. Now we done rushed this little brother in the yard. We telling him to go in the house. So um, everybody up in the yard, you know, people spooked and shit. My wife and my mom are sitting in my car. I had a I had an eighty two Chevy Caprice, white with the red pearl paint job in a burgundy interior. When the sun hit it, the joint would turn like a pinkish color. But anyway, um, so my wife and my mom are sitting in the car. Of course, I ran up in the yard too. I don't got no gun. But as I'm looking at my wife and my mom, scared as hell, my wife's trying to get out. So I come out the yard, boom. I tell my wife and my mom, I say, don't move. I yell down the street. They're probably like two houses down. I say, don't move. Don't move. Stay in the car. Don't move. So I walk up to dude, I walk up to the two dudes, and I'm like, look, bro, y'all need to do this shit another time, you know what I'm saying, woo, 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 and uh, I just kind of chopped it with him, now the other one, he was, uh, he was, they was birthday, like, just tell him to come out the yard, woo, all this, hell no, we ain't telling him to come out the yard, we're telling him to go in the house, I turn around and say, I'm not telling him to come out the yard, matter of fact, I turn around and tell him, Joe, go in the house, boom, so we tell him to go in the house, he, we get everybody, we get the kids in the house and shit. So I'm, I'm talking to them. Ooh, ooh. The other one going off. I'm like, man, just give him a pass today, man. Whatever, you know. Ooh, ooh. So Joni, I don't need no pass, you know, type, type shit. But like I said, his brother's standing out there. He got a chunky in his hand too. He ready. So um, I'm talking to him. Talk, I'm, you know, I'm trying to talk him down or whatever. So, you know, I show him I ain't got no crap telling them, look, man, I don't know you. You don't know me. You don't know 90%. You only know two people out here. You Y'all gonna shoot this whole thing up over... You don't even fucking know all these people. You better hit a kid, man. You know what I mean? So, in the end, uh, I, I, I talk them down. Boom, the other two. Now, like I said, there was two that split off. They split off and took the alley. So as I'm talking them down, the other one going off. Ain't nobody give my nigga a motherfucking pass. Ain't nobody give my, my, my guy a pass, woo woo. As it goes, my peoples had killed one of their peoples. You know what I mean? So that's what they was on. So, but from the story I heard that his people forced his hand. He actually told them. From what I heard, they surrounded him. He upped that thing and told him, man, move around. Let me through. I'm not going to let y'all, you know, put your hands on me or whatever. And they didn't move around. So he started blowing. But anyway, as I, I get them basically talked down, the other two come through the yards. They got two fat ass guns and they hand. Long story short, the two I was first talking to, like when everybody left, I mean, when they left, you know, everybody like, oh, DK, uh, Tom, you know, call me Tom. Okay. You, you talk to them, and you say good day or whatever. I'm talking shit like they wasn't gonna do shit. If they was gonna do shit, they'd have done it. You know what I mean? They don't know me. How the fuck they let me talk them down? But maybe I did talk them down. If not, two months later, both of them cats went to jail for murder. They chased the cat through my neighborhood like six or seven blocks on feet. Ran him down, killed his ass. He running through yards, he trying to get indoors, all of that shit. Ran him down, killed his ass. That was my short little Easter Sunday story. Fuck it, I'm gonna give y'all another one real quick since I got a, uh, I got a couple blocks back to the yard. This ain't got nothing to do with Easter Sunday. I just thought this was just some real hard shit. That it, this is really like to me having your brothers back. You feel me? So boom. These are flesh and blood brothers. They crypt. They from shotgun. I ain't gonna say their names and then because I don't know how they feel about it. But even though the shit, you know, everybody went to jail or whatever, I couldn't do no snitching. Motherfuckers went to, motherfuckers that was gonna go to jail or whatever went to jail. Cause of how the shit played out. So boom. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call my man uh, Water. Okay, my man Water was meeting this cat named Applehead. We're gonna call him Applehead. That ain't neither one of their names. But we're gonna call one of them uh, Applehead and one of them Water. 
So he was meeting water was meeting Applehead to buy some work from him. So water is a big old dude, but he's young. You know, he's a big tall dude, but he's young. But Applehead like my age. But no, I take that back. He wasn't meeting Applehead. What's up? He was meeting uh Applehead's big homie. He's just gonna call him uh Jinx. We can call him Jinx. That ain't his name, but it's close. We just gonna call him Jinx. So we got water is close to uh dude's name too. So anyway, uh we got water and we got Jinx. So Jinx, Applehead is their age. I don't I don't even know how I got that mixed up. Applehead is the same age, or around the same age as water. But Applehead, they know Jinx through Applehead. Applehead is really from the south side. But he had got, uh, I don't know if he got ran over north or what, but he ended up on the north side. So, bam, let me get back to the store. I know I ain't no storyteller, man. So I, I know I don't be doing a good job, but it passes time while I'm walking the dog. Um, and I'd be talking to myself if I wasn't talking to y'all. That's what I do. So, anywho, uh, so, uh, Water is meeting Jinx to buy some work from him. He, or to sell some work to him. So he tell, so uh, he hand Jinx like three zones. Jinx tell him, I'm keeping this. So, uh, Water, he a big old dude, but he a gun popper too. His older brother is like a menace. His older brother is literally a menace. He, he fucking has a huge reputation. The dude was a, you think, y'all think that dude on, uh, on BMF was a, was a beast, uh, Lamar? This, this dude is a beast. I'm trying to stop saying niggas so much because I know, uh, I know, uh, white people be watching my videos and shit too. So, I be I try not to say nigga around white people that much. I don't know why. It's just something in me. Come on, come on. But anywho, so, uh, like I said, they older brother is a minute. He's a straight up menace. So he Jinx tell Water, I'm keeping this. So Water, if, like I said, even though he a big old dude, he didn't try to just put hands on him. Water up that thing and immediately started blowing. They're like three feet from each other, if that. You know, he just handed it to him. He took it, stuck it in his pocket, stepped back and said, I'm keeping it. Water ain't say nothing. He just up that thing and started blowing. Now Jinx folded up, but he got a gun too. Jinx fold up, he just cover up and start shooting back. He said he not even looking, you know, cause he, they were so close and he started blowing on him so quick and he like, it's gun smoke and everything. He he just covered up and started blowing back. Why water miss him every time? Jinx hit him like four times with a, uh, uh, fat ass gun i think he had like a 38 or, or 44 or some shit like that it wasn't no nine it was something fat boom now the gun water had was little but that ain't had nothing to do with him missing every shot he just missed every shot you feel me that's just how it goes so anyway water blow on him do all that missing he blow on water hitting him down there every time so after so after he do that water's little brother and his little homie, Baby Water, is out in the car. So when when uh, Jinx come busting out the door, they done heard the bus and they see him. He come busting out the door, they jump out. They don't got no hammers on them. So they jump out. He go to bus on them. Click, 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 click. That motherfucker's empty. He done emptied his joint. Like I said, he had a revolver. Boom, they on his heels. They run his ass down. They're like I, same like the other store. They chase him for blocks. Blocks and these are some big dudes, man. The water's little brother. His name is uh we're gonna call him uh Flats. We're gonna call him Little Flats. So Lil Flats, uh he a big dude. He, him and Water, they big, they, they running in family, they big, they tall, they heavy set. You know what I mean? But they run him down anyway. They chase him, they chase him, they chase him. So Jinx finally he jump a he climb a fence like a, a privacy fence he jumped a privacy fence it's a lady in the yard he tried to run in the lady house but the lady beat him to the door boom she get in the door shut it blam so he come back over the fence when he come back over the fence flats and baby water right there waiting for him they was finna come over the fence now in the meantime the bitch done called the police flats 
and baby water get his ass when he's coming over the fence get the whooping on him take his pistol from him ain't no bullets in it they try to kill him ain't no bullets in it but they start beating him with the gun when the police pull up they lucky they didn't get shot when the police pull up these brothers are beating the hell out of him one of them is pistol whooping him. long story short his gun, you know what I mean, and he go to the joint. 